I've been playing basketball for about nine or 10 years. I started when I was in third grade. And even before that, I was just always playing with my brother and my dad. So it was always something I loved. When I hurt myself, I was um, playing in a college showcase and I was running down the court on a fast break. Someone passed me the ball. I took a jump stop, um, my leg buckled and I collapsed and that's when I knew something happened. It's just an odd fall and the way she couldn't get up, it, it, I knew something was wrong. Shelby was seen by Dr. Slanker immediately on Monday, first thing in the morning, and it didn't seem as though he was committing as to what it, what it was. He wanted to do the MRI first. She had you know, significant swelling in her knee, uh, clinically you know, behaved like an ACL tear, and we got imaging studies that confirmed that uh, Shelby did in fact tear her ACL. So when he first said ACL tear, we held our breath, and then when he explained how many months it was crushing. <laughs> My jaw dropped and I just automatically broke into tears. The fact that I could possibly not be out there on the court with my teammates for that final run was heartbreaking. I felt really bad for Shelby, you know, going into her senior year and I know how hard she had worked the previous three years. Through experience coaching other players and knowing other, about other injuries similar to this, I always knew that the, the athlete that really put a lot of hard work in came a lot, back a lot faster. And I knew if anyone was gonna do that, it would be Shelby. The day after the surgery, she started physical therapy immediately. And Mike was able to have her do lots of exercises. And I was amazed that she got through that. Shelby made the best of a very unfortunate situation. In rehab, her mindset was very goal-directed. She always wanted to know what had to be done to achieve the next step to get back to basketball as soon as she could. I heard stories about people getting cleared in less than six months. And I thought, well, why can't I do that? He would tell her a few more weeks and then you can start running. And then everything just came together. I realized she was gonna be able to play and make her senior season after all. Um, we would always just be like, Tib, let's go, we need you back. So we just always reminded her like when we're playing and when our first game was. I mean, this year we won the district title, only the second one in Easton High School history and the first time in 19 years. Shelby always wanted to do something with the medical field. When this happened, and she really loved her physical therapy with Mike, she said, I think I'd really love to do this. I, this is something I think I would really want to do. It's an honor, truthfully. That's how I came about this. I was injured as a young athlete myself, and the PT that treated me is who motivated me to go down the line. So it kind of feels nice to close the circle and know that you motivated somebody like that yourself. My best advice to any other athlete, just stay positive because Anyone can do this. Anyone can get through a surgery or any type of setback. You just need to tell yourself that you can.